If there is anything that is no longer a secret to the public, it is that the Oni of Ife is not a one-woman kind of man. This handsome and charming first-class king is in fact what many would call Baba for the girls. But can you blame him? Like any powerful and wealthy monarch, Oba Eniton Adeyeye Ugunsi or Jaja II is expected to keep a harem of women, wives and even concubines, many of whom may remain unknown to the public. Since the most powerful king in Yoruba land ascended the throne of his forefathers, he has had a headline-grabbing personal life due to the women in his life. Some were known for their beauty, others for their elegance, some were classified as traditionalists and others were known as Christian prayer warriors. Some came from a poor home, others from a wealthy background, and another set trooped from the abroad to get a slice of the royal cake. But the real question is, who are these women? Over the past 10 years alone, at least 6 women have been strongly linked to the 47-year-old monarch. This is the point where we tell you to grab your popcorn because we are about to introduce you to these women and a few honorable mentions. Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. Adebukola Bombata This beautiful woman takes the award for being the first woman to convince the young, wild and free man, now king, to settle down. While no one is sure if this resulted from the love and strong bond they must have had for each other, we know that the honor of Ife was more than ready for a forever commitment. The former couple were named husband and wife in 2008 following a traditional wedding ceremony and a holy solemnization in church. Sadly, the marriage packed up in 2016 shortly after Oba Ogunsi was coronated as Oni of Ife. Reports have it that their marriage was long-headed for a breakup over Adebukola's inability to produce a child for the monarch. But her refusal to support his decision to become the Oni of Ife was the straw that broke the camel's back. Immediately after ascending the throne of his forefathers, his family advised him to end his marriage and he did without giving it a second thought. Zainab Otiti Obano Also known as Wuraola, this ex-queen of Ilefe was not just a beauty to behold but also a Benin princess which must have been top of the reasons Oni of Ife asked for a hand in marriage. Being charming and powerful, Zainab didn't hesitate to say yes to the proposal. The result was a royal wedding that shut down Benin City on March 13, 2016. Oni and his Olori were admired and respected by many. The union brought them to a lot of success and the couple were invited to several high-profile events, including outside Nigeria. <laughs> The royal couple had the opportunity to meet Prince Charles, who is now King Charles III, in London. Unfortunately, the union only lasted 17 months, crashing in August 2017. Close sources claimed Zainab left after she found out the monarch was not as wealthy as it claimed to be and realized he married her for her affluence and connections. That's not all, the ex-queen also found out that Oni was saving face outside by defrauding people in business and when she did not want to be part of it, he began to show his other side, which wasn't a pretty one. Just like Oni's previous wife, Zainab had no child for him, making it very easy for her to move on with her life. Queen Naomi A year after ex-Queen Zainab took the high road, prophetess Naomi Shilekwonla came into the picture. This time, the Oni went for a younger, beautiful and God-fearing woman who wouldn't question his moves. There have been several reports of how they met. One has it that the 26-year-old prophetess made the first move to the king using the Lord's name and another set of people say the Oni approached her first. Regardless of who approached who first, this beautiful woman of God became the wife of the Oni of Ife in a much publicized traditional rite at the Ileife Palace on October of 2018. Initially, many assumed it might never work between them owing to their religious views. Still, over time, it looked like they were enjoying the marriage, especially after Olori Naomi welcomed her first child, Oni's first and only son, Prince Tadenikawu, or so we thought. Just ahead of Christmas, Queen Naomi served the king a really cold breakfast via Instagram on December 23, 2021, where she announced a separation from him, explaining how she has been suffering and smiling with the man she once called a fine wine. The prophetess said the king's personality behind closed doors doesn't match the one he shows the public. 
Interestingly, the word on the street does not match what the Ondo beauty said was a reason for fleeing the palace. Instead, it is said that a certain Princess Ashley Adegoke, who is the apple of the monarch's eye and the love of his life, forced her to leave the palace. Princess Ashley Adegoke Speaking of Princess Ashley Adegoke, this black beauty also prides herself as an alpha female and is reportedly the love of the monarch's life. The two have reportedly known each other for a very long time. Unfortunately, Princess Ashley Adegoke was to be installed before Olori Naomi. Still, due to an impediment, it is against tradition to be named Yeyelua or the Oni of Ife's public wife because she already has a child for another man, which robbed her the opportunity to be the one to produce the first son of the Oni. However, Ashley settled as one of the king's concubines. Because of the place she holds in the monarch's heart, her presence in the palace has been a bone of contention between her and Queen Naomi. It didn't help when Ashley began representing the monarch at traditional ceremonies as a daughter of the soil and blue blood from Ileife. Queen Naomi couldn't take it anymore and reportedly announced a separation from the monarch months after. Princess Ashley Adegoke is an accomplished single mother and founder of the Folashade Ashley Adegoke Foundation. Kemi Fadojutimi You may not know this woman, but reports have it that she is one of the Oni of Ife's side chick or concubines. To cap it all, Kemi Fadojutimi is in charge of all the Oni of Ife's business, including foreign and local. Based in Maryland, US, this woman is a successful entrepreneur, motivational speaker and radio talk show host. Aside from running the Dare to Dream Youth Empowerment Program, she is the host of popular TV program, All Eyes on Africa. Queen Miriam Anako Taking the sixth spot on this list is the latest woman to be linked to the honor of Ife. Queen Miriam Anako is the woman who became his fourth wife on September 6, 2022, following a brief traditional rite. Close friends claim Queen Miriam, supposedly in her early 40s and have never been married, is calm, humble and rich. In the past, she has reportedly been of help to the Oni, which may have endeared him to her. Coming shortly after Queen Naomi left, the monarch sent a high-powered delegation to seek a hand in marriage. And by February of this year, they had their introduction. Queen Miriam Anako hails from the prominent Anako family of Ebira land, Kogi State, who is well connected in politics, business and civil service. Until a traditional wedding to the honor of Ife, she worked as an executive of Nestoil, a top oil and gas firm in Nigeria. For this reason, many think Oni must have chosen her for her perceived wealth and connections. Shockingly, these are not the only women who have shaken and rocked the Oni of Ife's world. There are many other unpopular ones. One of them is Princess Runke Ademiluyi, the granddaughter of the late Oni of Ife, Oba Ademiluyi Ajagun. The London-based lawyer and fashion entrepreneur have reportedly been dating the monarch since 2014 before he was coronated king. There is also Princess Temitokwe Adeshegun, the former personal assistant to the Lagos State Government Secretary during Babatunde Fashola's tenure as governor. Today, she serves as the director of the Hope Alive Initiative Poverty Alleviation Advocacy Program inspired by the honor of Ife. Another woman worthy of honorable mention is Omolara Olatumbosun, the owner of Ife Baby Mama. In May of 1994, she had a daughter named Adeola for the king. However, in recent times, she has nothing nice to say about the monarch who once claimed sole responsibility for the child's upbringing. In a lengthy social media post, Omolara called out Oni for being a deadbeat, saying she got no monetary or material support for him until the child was older and just after he became Oni. Just at the point of scripting, the Oni reportedly gets to take yet another wife. The woman in question is Elizabeth Okweolu, a Scotland-based professor and native of Ondo State. Reports have it that a team of chiefs from the palace on September 7 visited her family to ask for a hand in marriage. Nothing much has been heard since then, but we guess time will soon unfold every detail. And there you have it, the complete list of the king and his harem of women. Are you surprised by the long list of women who once shook and rocked the honor of Ife world? Which of these women do you think was suitable for the honor of Ife both in love and wealth? Many believe the honor has entered one chance with the powerful wealthy family of the Anakos. Do you agree?
share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.